Welcome to All Car Review Channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Americans know the i30 is the Elantra, and they'd recognize the end performance as a variant of the Elantra GT Sport hatchback, a car that's already impressed us with its Golf GTI light shops. The end performance version turns everything up to 11, however, Insiders say Beerman was given a green light by Hyundai bosses to make whatever changes he felt necessary for this, the first ever Hyundai N model. In place of the Elantra GT Sport's 201 horsepower, 195 pound FT, 1.6 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine, the i30 N performance is powered by a 2.0 liter turbo 4 that develops 271 horsepower at 6,000 RPMs, with 260 pounds FT of torque on tap from 1,500 RPMs through 4,700 RPMs and another 18 pounds FT available via an 18 second full throttle overboost function. The engine drives the front wheels through a beefed-up version of Hyundai's own six-speed manual transmission and an electronically controlled limited slip differential. There is an entry-level end version available that makes do with 247 horsepower, plus smaller wheels, tires, and brakes and misses out on the performance model's tricky diff, among other things. The suspension layout is the same as the Elantra GT but features heavy-duty components such as redesigned steering knuckles, plus new springs and electronically controlled shocks, and the ride height has been lowered. The Elantra GT's EPS system has been replaced by a more robust setup with the e-motor mounted on the rack rather than the steering column to improve response and sensitivity. Other changes include the adoption of bigger brakes, with 13.6-inch rotors out front and 12.4-inch units at the rear, and 19-inch alloy wheels fitted with 235-35P0 tires developed specifically by Pirelli for the i30 N Performance. N Performance prototypes underwent 6,000 miles of durability testing on the Nürburgring or Schlieff, equivalent to almost 120,000 miles of hard, real-world road driving, says Hyundai, and twice competed in the grueling 24-hour race on the Green Hill. That level of experience is reflected in detail touches such as the bar across the body behind the rear seats to improve body rigidity and the large vents in the redesigned front bumper to help cool the brakes. So confident is Hyundai of the car's durability that Hyundai UK is promising to honor its regular 5-year, unlimited mileage mechanical warranty even if you take the i30 in performance on the track. The N performance offers 5 drive modes accessed via paddles mounted on the front side of the steering wheel. The left-hand paddle toggles between the normal, sport, and eco modes that are familiar fare across the current Hyundai range. The right-hand paddle is the fun one, allowing you to access N mode, which dials the powertrain and chassis settings to the max, or custom mode, which allows you to mix and match settings across seven individual functions, engine response, rev matching, e-diff, exhaust sound, shock rates, steering, and stability control. The menu was easily accessed via the 8.0-inch infotainment touchscreen at the center of the dash. N-Mode was the hot setup on the track section of the drive program, held on the challenging 2.2-mile Cadwell Park circuit in rural Lincolnshire, England, not the least because it switches the stability control to sport mode. You can turn stability control all the way off in custom mode, but Cadwell Park's white knuckle array of corners hidden over blind crests combined with the damp British climate suggested discretion might be the better part of valor. The engine delivers a smooth, linear surge of acceleration through the gears.